Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I just wanted to do a little update of some things that I've done to the Honda CT125, Trail 125. Uh, as you can see here, definitely the biggest upgrade I just did was I changed the tires. I actually put some off-road tires on here. So beautiful day. It's nice. It's going to be like 70 degrees. If you see the mountains over there. Wachuca Mountains, look at all the snow up there. It's been snow up there for <laughs> a month or two. It's been a long time since that snow, at least a month since it's melted. So definitely lots of snow up there, but it's nice and warm down here. But it is every day. It's, it's nice and warm. So you can see that I added this Rotopax and I've done this rack, which is actually homemade. I made it myself out of an old rack that I had. Um, I made a bracket along here. To bolt this onto, uh, I may want to take it off and shorten these arms up to scoot this in closer to the bike. It's not too bad, but uh, make it more solid. I think if I, the longer it is out here, the less solid it's going to be. So I may want to definitely scoot that in so it's not out so far. Change that around. Made a little bracket back here that goes up to the license plate bracket, and I also made a brace back here right here that goes up to there so it's pretty solid it kind of got a little shake uh i think if i shorten it up it'd be a lot better so some of the things i've done of course besides adding the luggage i put on the box back here i also put on a small box up front and this one's pretty cool because i made it to where i can carry all of my camera equipment in here you see i have my Insta360, a couple batteries, another Cine 50C, like the one I have on my helmet right now. Place for my GoPro. There's some GoPro batteries, extra GoPro battery can go there. And it's super tough and it's waterproof. Mounted right to that front rack that I put on here. And then of course I went ahead and put a quad lock on here. I got my Garmin Zumo XT mounted right here. Got it mounted right there, like so, and then with the ram mount, I wanted it dead center. And then, of course, wired to the battery. Also, I added this USB. has one USB here, two USB-Cs, and they are PD. And this one is where I can actually turn it off, turn it on. And I got it powered all the time, where I, and that's why I wanted one with a switch so I could turn it off. Got Nelson rig luggage here. This is actually a tail bag. This is the rig gear trails end light tail bag and actually works great on this rack right here. <laughs> um, I got it to actually turn it kind of around backwards and then it just opens up like this. But works super good on there. Just strap it right onto that rack that I put on here. Added a little kickstand foot. Got a Nelson rig dry roll bag here. This is 10 liter. In here I carry all my tools to change a flat or to work on anything on the bike. I also carry two spare tubes for the bike. So moving on, we'll go to the tires. And what I did on the tires was I've seen lots of people doing different things on the tires. Um, and you got to watch because the way these tires are, they the factory tires look identical. They're actually not. The one on the front is a 44P load rating the factory tire I'm not talking about the ones on here um, the IRC's the rear factory tire is a four a 50 P load rating so it's made to hold more weight this is a IRC GP1 and uh, the trials GP1 and this is a 45 load rating so it's actually less load rating than uh, the stock rear they come on here which is a 50p load rating uh, this is a 317 irc gp1 which 45 is fine in the front because the factory is 44 so it's a little bit heavier the rear i wanted a 50 so what i did on the rear i went with the shinko 244 and it is a 50p load rating it's a 317 and worked out really good so still have a actually heavy tire on the rear a lighter tire on the front 
And then as far as the chain, I went ahead and put a new chain on and I went ahead and went with the DID uh, VX chain, which is the X-ring chain. Uh, the factory chain is just pretty much junk on these things. And I wanted a chain that is not going to stretch. This chain should be super tough and should not stretch. Uh, as far as sprocket and gearing, because you have a taller tire, I want it lower geared. So when I had the factory tires on here, I went ahead and put a 13 on the front, which I don't like doing that. I don't never, ever want to put a smaller counter shaft sprocket on the front. I just wouldn't recommend that. Uh, for one thing, it's a tighter arc, so it actually wears chain more. It also puts more weight on the chain slider that's on your swing arm. So uh, what I wanted to do was put a bigger sprocket on the rear. Uh, stock is 14.39. So what I did was I put a 15 on the front, 45 on the rear. It feels good. It's about the speedometer now with the 13, as I said, was about five mile an hour off. Now it is four miles an hour off. So it's pretty close. And that's basically because I got the bigger tire and the way I changed the gearing. So I think it's a little lower geared than stock, but not too extreme. I think it's going to be pretty good so far. I like it a lot better. You will have your speedometer four miles an hour off, but you know, it's easy to realize when you, you know, when it says you're doing 45, you're doing 41. So simple to figure that out. But there you go, guys. That's all my stuff, but pretty much that I've done to the 2023 Honda Trail 125. This thing has been a blast. Lots of fun uh, working on. Adding upgrades to, getting it fixed up for some like moto camping and stuff. Just a little project that's fun to do. Got license on it now. Actual tags. Oh, I also painted the exhaust. This was silver, so I took and used a high temp uh, paint, Rust Oleum, and this is called Satin Black. So I think it looks a lot better than the silver for the exhaust shields. I'm not going to paint the engine. It's okay. I'll probably, I may leave the crash bars alone and the skid plate, or I may paint them the black also, but we'll see. So far, I've pretty much got everything I want. The only thing that I want to do now is probably add a gear indicator on here. We put one on my son, Scott. On He's got the same bike. We put one on his. Works good. So I got one ordered, and I'll go ahead and put in a gear indicator on this. It'd be nice to know what gear you're in. So there you guys go. Thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Click the thumbs up. Check out the links below. I'll put links to everything that I can that I've did to this in the description below. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe. And we'll catch you all on the next adventure. Right on.